We're up here with Tim Blackley at Real Foot Lake uh, at Blue Bank Resort. And Tim, you're a tournament crappie fisherman. What does that mean? Well, we just we travel throughout the country and fish tournaments, uh, mainly crappie masters. There are other circuits that we do fish some, but mainly crappie masters. And uh, we just enjoy the competition and the, and the sport of catching crappie. Tell me about the equipment that a tournament crappie fisherman has to have. I know you got a lot of poles here and reels and rods and line and all this stuff. Why do you have to have so much stuff, and what kind of stuff are you using and why? Well, you, you really don't have to have a lot of stuff. I mean, we get beat sometimes with a guy that's got one cane pole, you know. Uh, crappie fishing is not, not a, a real hard sport to learn, you know. Uh, we just got a lot of sophisticated latest technology and the latest uh, stuff that we use. And we just have a lot of different poles and different techniques that we use. And they're already, already rigged up, so we don't have to take the time to re-rig and do different stuff. Now, what kind of poles, line, and rod are y'all using in jig? We use uh, B&M poles. Uh, we've experimented with other poles, but B&M is by far the best poles. Uh, we use Strike King lures. They build a lot of plastics that work great just about anywhere you want to go with them on dirty water, clear water. Uh, they're, they're, they got jigs and, and plastics for anywhere you want to fish. Uh, line, we use vicious line only. Uh, we found that it holds up. You know, we fish in a lot of heavy cover, you know, in stumps, brush tops, uh, and we figured out that vicious line in 8 or 10 pounds, sometimes we're, we're real heavy, we'll go to a 12-pound line, but that vicious line, it'll hold up doing the things we do in tournament fishing. All right, now what have you learned in tournament fishing that you wouldn't have learned if you'd just been out there crappie fishing on your own? Well, you know, going to all these different lakes, you, you, you experience different techniques, uh, you know, we all grew up here at Real Foot fishing these stumps and just you just take off fishing. But when you go to Kentucky Lake or, or Grenada or, you know, some of these other lakes, you have to do different things. You have to be skilled not necessarily on fishing, but you have to be skilled on electronics. Being able to read your electronics, being able to know what you're looking at when you look, look at something under the water. And, uh, you know, not every spot ha holds crappie. You know, you got to be able to determine... The, the spots that hold crappie and the ones that don't. So, you know, we've experienced a lot of different things over the years that we've tournament fished, and it's it's been a real good, we've had a real good time doing it.